The Washington Commanders have found their star, and his name is Jaden Daniels. In 2024, this rookie quarterback has completely changed the game for a franchise that's been searching for a leader for years. Daniels didn't just step in and play like a typical rookie. He took the Commanders to a level no one saw coming. From his first snap, he's shown poise, confidence, and the ability to make plays that leave fans speechless. And let's talk about Hail Mary, which is one of the wildest plays of the season. A tipped ball that seemed like it was heading nowhere, but Noah Brown came down with it to seal the game. It's not just about the highlight reels, though. It's about the presence Daniels brings to the field. Washington's been through the ringer over the years with the inconsistent quarterback play, but that ends with Daniels. He's the kind of player who elevates everyone around him. Look at his numbers, his leadership, and his ability to stay calm under pressure. He's not just playing for today. He's building something that could define the commanders for years to come. And it's not just his arm or his stats. It's how he's winning over a fan base that's been starved for success. After years of frustration, the Commanders are now a team that believes they can win any game, and it all starts with their new quarterback. Jaden Daniels isn't just a promising rookie. He's a game changer for Washington, and the hype around him is real. But before we get into that, hit that like and subscribe button for more NFL content. Let's aim for 350 likes on this video. For years, the Washington Commanders were stuck in a cycle of mismanagement and missed opportunities. The team couldn't seem to find stability, especially at the quarterback position, and it felt like no matter what moves they made, they just couldn't get over the hump. But 2024 is different. The most significant shift didn't just happen on the field, it occurred in the front office. When Josh Harris took over as the new owner, it was like a weight was lifted off the entire organization. The transformation of the Washington Commanders didn't just come from a new quarterback or ownership, it went from a complete overhaul in coaching. When Dan Quinn arrived, he brought with him a new mindset and a new energy. This wasn't going to be the same old commanders with the same old results. Quinn stepped in and immediately started to change the culture, but it wasn't just him making moves behind the scenes. The offense got a facelift too, and that's where things get exciting. Enter Cliff Kingsbury. Most people had written him off after his rough stint with the Arizona Cardinals, but Washington gave him a fresh start as the offensive coordinator. And what a turnaround it's been. Kingsbury took a lot of heat for his past, but now he's showing everyone that he can build a high-powered offense. Under his guidance, Jaden Daniels isn't just thriving. He's becoming one of the most dynamic young quarterbacks in the league. The Washington Commanders offense is now loaded with talent, and it's showing on the field every single week. At the heart of it all is the combination of Jaden Daniels and his supporting cast of playmakers. The backfield is especially dangerous, with Brian Robinson Jr. and Austin Aikler creating a one-two punch that keeps defenses on their heels. Robinson's story is nothing short of inspiring. After overcoming a life-threatening injury, he's come back stronger than ever, becoming a star in this league. Then there's Aikler, a dynamic veteran who brings versatility and experience, making this offense even more dangerous. But it's not just about the running game. Washington's wide receivers are stepping up in a big way, led by the ultra-reliable Terry McLaurin. For years, McLaurin had to deal with inconsistent quarterback play. But now with Jaden Daniels throwing him the ball, he's finally able to shine the way he deserves. McLaurin isn't just a good receiver. He's one of the most underrated players in the entire NFL, and he's showing why this season. Alongside McLaurin, you've got Noah Brown, who's gone from being overlooked to making crucial plays, including that incredible Hail Mary catch. Zachus and Zach Ertz are also key contributors, with Ertz especially excelling in short yardage situations and the red zone. And let's not forget about the emerging Luke McCaffrey, a young player who's starting to make a name for himself in this offense. While the offense has been getting a lot of attention, the real unsung heroes of the Washington Commanders' resurgence might be the defense. Just last season, the Commanders' defense was in shambles. They couldn't stop the pass, they couldn't generate pressure, and it seemed like every week they were getting torched. But in 2024, that narrative has completely changed, and a lot of the credit goes to Dan Quinn. The addition of veterans like Bobby Wagner, who brings leadership and a deep understanding of Quinn's schemes from their time together in Seattle, has been tremendous. Wagner has solidified the middle of the defense, becoming the anchor this team desperately needed. Then, you've got guys like Dorrance Armstrong and Clillan Farrell stepping up and making plays in the pass rush. Armstrong, who came over from the Cowboys, is racking up sacks and causing havoc for opposing quarterbacks. Farrell, who was once seen as a disappointment, has found new life in Washington and is proving he can be a crucial contributor. The Washington Commanders are no longer just surviving in the NFC East. 
they're thriving. In a division that features heavyweights like the Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas Cowboys, the Commanders have gone from being overlooked to being a serious contender. This resurgence didn't happen by accident. It's been a combination of exemplary leadership, a revamped roster, and a newfound belief that they can compete with anyone. For years, the NFC East has been dominated by the Eagles and Cowboys, with Washington always lagging. But 2024 has flipped the script. The Commanders are no longer a team that other franchises can take lightly. Jaden Daniels is out there matching up against elite quarterbacks like Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson, proving that this team can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the league. They've already beaten the New York Giants this season, and they're gearing up for big matchups with the Eagles and Cowboys, knowing full well that they have a real shot at taking the division. Jaden Daniels isn't just having a promising rookie season. He's redefining what it means to be a rookie quarterback in the NFL. The commanders took a chance on him, and he's rewarded them with performances that go beyond anyone's expectations. He's not just a typical rookie who's learning the ropes from day one. Daniels has looked like he belongs playing with the poise and confidence of a seasoned veteran. His ability to make big plays while keeping mistakes to a minimum is what sets him apart from most young quarterbacks. What's truly remarkable is how quickly Daniels has adjusted to the NFL game. He's already outperformed some of the league's top quarterbacks going head-to-head -head with the likes of Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow without blinking. But it's not just his arm that's making headlines. His dual threat ability is causing defenses all sorts of problems. Whether he's using his legs to escape pressure or dropping dimes in the pocket, Daniels has become the complete package. The best part, he takes care of the football. For a rookie, his low turnover rate is almost unheard of. He's not forcing throws or making rash decisions. He's staying composed, managing the game, and stepping up when it matters most. This level of maturity, combined with his natural athleticism, is why many are already talking about Daniels as the favorite for Rookie of the Year. The future looks incredibly bright for the Washington Commanders. With Jaden Daniels at the helm, a solid coaching staff, and a roster full of talent, this team is positioned to be a contender not just this season but for years to come. The cultural shift is undeniable. The Commanders are no longer a team hoping for a lucky break. They're a team that expects to win and with good reason. They've built a strong foundation that's going to make them competitive in the NFC East and beyond. Looking ahead, the key for Washington will be maintaining this momentum. Daniels has already shown he's capable of leading this team to victory, and with continued development, there's no telling how high his ceiling is. The coaching staff has done an excellent job of putting him in a position to succeed, and if they keep building around him, the commanders could be in the mix for championships in the near future. Now the question turns to you. What do you think of Jaden Daniels' rise this season? Do you believe the commanders can take the NFC East this year? And how do you feel about the future of this team? Let us know in the comments below. If you're excited about what's happening in Washington, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more updates, and share your thoughts. We'll be keeping a close eye on this team. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for watching.